hi guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by in today's video i'm going to be showing you some of the tools that you need for wig making okay so if this sounds like something you want to listen to please keep watching the video In case you want to make a wig or you want to be thinking of going into the wig business or wig making business rather and you don't know the tools that you will need or you don't know the items that you will need to get started this video is for you I am going to quickly run into what you are going to be needing to start making your wigs or to start the wig business first things first you are going to need a mannequin head of course nobody makes a wig without a mannequin head okay i've not seen anybody making a wig without a mannequin head <laughs> okay so there are different kinds of mannequin this is the one i have i'm sure you can see it very well this is the one i have but you can also go in with canvas head if that's what you prefer but for me i feel like canvas head needs a lot of information to use it if you are not like a master master of wig making i don't think you you should go for canvas head but then again it's your choice whatever you want to do but you need a canvas head another thing you're going to need just in case i don't know if you can see this but they call it t-pins this is just to make sure that you hold down your wigs okay or your your wigging cap down to your mannequin head okay so that it will not just be you know shifting and shifting and shifting so you need a mannequin head and also some t-pins okay another thing you are going to need is some combs you guys you want combs of different sizes now depending on the kind of wig that you are making you need a white tooth comb you need a rat tail comb you know you need different sizes of combs so you need combs another thing you are going to need is this guy <laughs> you need a clipper guys so this is my chargeable clipper it's chargeable and very handy very lightweight it's very easy you use it to you know to trim or to make layers in your units if you if that's what you want I basically use this for bob wigs and I also use it when I want to trim you know the hairs to make them um, equal so you need this uh, some people go in with scissors okay for trimming now you can use scissors depending on what you want to do or what you are planning to achieve but if I need a bob wig or if I'm making a bob wig this baby is a lifesaver like this clipper is a lifesaver it gives you that sharp urge that you need for bob wigs you know and everything in between it just makes it smooth okay so another thing you are going to need is thread and needles of course nobody make handmade wigs without thread and needles i don't know if i if you've seen anybody that make handmade wigs without thread and needles except maybe you're using machine you know for your sewing or for your wigging but then if you're using hand then you definitely need some needles and you need thread okay another thing you are going to be needing is uh, scissors and a hairbrush okay you guys now like I said you need a comb or you need some combs but you also need hairbrush there are places where or there are times where your hairbrush will come handy and there are times where your combs will come handy and also you need scissors you know for cutting thread or for trimming or for taking out whatever needs to be taken out <laughs> you know but also to use it you can also use this to cut your wig cap if you are making like a closure wig or a frontal wig you need this to cut um, the excess cap you know in the wig when you are done making it or before you are done making it anytime you need it but you need a scissors and you need a brush another important thing i think that you need is your tools your styling tools <laughs> okay you guys so this is um cloud nine straightener i don't know if that means okay i was actually turning it the wrong way this is cloud nine um straightener and this is hot comb okay they are all electric it comes with wire like this so you can just plug it this is if you want to straighten your weavons or if you want to straighten the unit or you want to style it probably you want to make a bob wig out of it okay this is what you need 
and i like this straightener because it is very hot like it gives me what i want when it comes to heat for my wig making it makes it easy for me if i just plug it and i put it in the highest i think the highest is about 200 and then um, that's 230 degrees 230 degrees once i plug this and it's up to that 230 degrees you guys i am going to be like zoom 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 before you know it i'm done styling or done straightening it's very nice it's super hot and the heat lasts long and it's smooth okay the blades are smooth like the the base is smooth so it's easy for you to work with also for my um hot comb you can use it to style like for example now if i want my pattern to relax if i want the closure parts to relax in my hair or in my wig after i must have gone in with some product that i need okay on the unit i will just go in with my flat comb and um, with my hot comb sorry and just you know comb that through it's going to make it to be very flat super laid you know and all of that it helps it works you can also use this to lay down your um or to make your closure part flat but you have to be a pro for that and like you have to must have started working with these tools for you to be able to switch you know whenever you want to use one for the other's job and all of that and I, I don't know if you get what i mean but you need these guys you can't make a wig without these two guys except maybe you're making a coily wig and even if you're making a coily wig you still need the hot comb to you know bring down the, the lace parts because sometimes they can be all stretchy and standing everywhere and you, you don't want that but these guys are nice you should get them another thing i feel that is important that you should have though you might not feel like it's important but i feel it's important for you to have it is this styling items like this is luda's oil is hair oil for i use it to style my units i use it to style my wigs i apply it on my hairs to make it look shiny and silky and straight you know if you want to like straighten your hair it can also serve as heat proof for your units so if you want to straighten your hair you can go ahead and apply some before you straighten it now guys you will love the aroma i love the fragrance that this thing gives and i love the result that it gives it helps my hair to just stay silk and straight depending on how i want it to be like depending on the styling and the outcome that i want but i love the shiny look that it gives i also love the fact that it allows it to just be very well laid like that so it makes your job easy for you also this is a wax stick this is wax stick you also need it for your closure part especially let me open it for you guys so you can see it what it looks like inside it's just like this inside just white semi-solid thick something you know you use it to bring down the hairs most especially that are you know standing everywhere around your closures you know that if you get some closures they are definitely not equal some of the strands are not equal so by the time you are done making that closure wig you see the stands just standing up you see the strands standing up and you wouldn't like that for your wig so you just use this um, wax stick to you know bring it down it's very easy to use and then you go in with your hot comb or your straightener to just flatten it and that's it all the hair standing will just go down and you know relax and chill <laughs> okay so you guys um if you want to make wigs or if you want to be using if you want to do wigs without handmade then you can also go ahead with a sewing machine a wig sewing machine i don't have that here because i don't use sewing machine for my wigs i, I go in with hand i feel like it is more secure than doing the sewing machine thing okay so but whatever your preference is if you want a sewing machine kind of wig you can go in with a sewing machine that's like the only thing i don't i think i don't have another thing i feel that it's important that you need is a wig stand of course this is where your mannequin goes in i feel like i should just make an example for you <laughs> okay let me get my mannequin this is my mannequin head so before you start you just you just want to go in with your mannequin head like this so see 
it helps it to stand you know on its own without you trying to struggle you just put it up like this put on your wig cap on it and then you start stitching or you start working on your um wig so it makes it easy for you so you need a wig stand you guys so guys i hope this video was helpful those are some of the wig tools i feel that you need when you want to start making wigs or when you want to go into the wig making business and if you have any other one that you are probably using or if you have anyone that you know that i did not mention please leave it down in the comment section thank you so much for watching if you are new to the channel please help me smash that red button below subscribe and join the channel because you are definitely going to love it we bring up content that are very valuable to you so you definitely want to stick around for that thank you so much for my old subscribers i really see the love that you guys are showing me i love 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 it thank you so much guys i'll see you guys all in my next video thank you so much and yeah